Okay, okay thanks a lot. You've been a nice crowd. It's been nice to meet you. Real cool to see Great Bear. Hope you get down to see you again sometime soon. Make it as soon as you can, alright? Thanks for your time. This song was called I'm Not Free But I'm Too. In 1979, The Who produced the film Quadrophenia about the mods in the 60s, and it started a revival of mod culture. The 60s mods were smart, clean-cut. They drove scooters, chewed gum, ate tons of speed, and listened mainly to American soul music. Their own bands were The Who and The Small Faces. The mods were crazy about fashion and spent most of their money on clothes making the name of Carnaby Street famous. Their enemies were the rockers, people with greasy hair, leather jackets and heavy motorbikes. With them they had fights every weekend at seaside resorts in the south of England. Nick Cohen writes in his History of Rock, ecstatical weekend, 72 hours without sleep, and all you did was running around, making trouble, taking pills and kicking with your boots. The new mods tried to copy the clothes of the old ones complete. There are no rockers here in Brighton anymore, but it's still one of their favourite places. They don't listen only to old records, but form lots of new bands too. The best known is Secret Affair. They formed their own label, I Spy, and want to change the word mod for Glory Boy. The word mod is a label, and Glory Boys is a title, which is a lot more flattering, and it's also a lot more contemporary. Um, that the movement is akin to the old mods. Uh, I think it's part of the heritage. It doesn't mean that it's any more than that. It's people actually searching for glory, the idea of wearing, wearing a suit and wanting to look good, dignity. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 